Hello, so this is our lesson for today about geometric sequence, which is our objective for the day is to determine geometric means. Okay, so this lesson is for uh, the first quarter of grade 10 math, which is based on milk week 4. Okay, so let's start. Let us now discuss how to find the geometric means between terms of a geometric sequence. Inserting a certain number of terms between two given terms of a geometric sequence is an interesting activity in studying geometric sequences. We call the terms between any two given terms of a geometric sequence the geometric means. What is geometric sequence? A geometric sequence is a sequence where each term after the first is obtained by multiplying the preceding term by a non-zero constant called common ratio or R. Given the first term a sub 1 and the common ratio r of a geometric sequence, the nth term of geometric sequence is we have a sub n equals a sub 1 times r raised to n minus 1. So that is the rule of geometric sequence. Okay, where a sub n is what we call the nth term, a sub 1 is the first term r is the common ratio and n is what we call the number of terms okay so we're going to apply this formula we have an example number one insert three geometric means between 5 and 3125 so this is the solution let a sub 1 or the first term be 5 the first term is 3125 Wherein, if we're going to insert three terms, there will be five terms. So, we will insert a sub 2, a 3, a sub 4 in the sequence. Okay, so now we have a sub 1, a sub 2, a sub 3, a sub 4, a sub 5. Okay, so where a sub 1 is 5 and a sub 5 is 3125. Okay, and we're going to find the three terms between 5 and 3,125. Okay, first we're going to solve for R or the common ratio using the given formula. A sub N equals A sub 1 times R raised to N minus 1. We have the given first term is 5. A sub 5 is 3,125. And N or the number of terms is 5. And we are looking for... R, which is the common ratio. Okay, and then let's substitute the given. We have the formula a sub n equals a sub 1 times r raised to n minus 1, wherein a sub n is a sub 5. It is equal to a sub 1, which is 5, and r is 5, n is 5 minus 1. Then, then we have a sub 5 is 3125 equals 5 times r raised to 4. Then dividing both sides by 5, so we can uh, solve for r. So, 5 divided by 5 is cancelled. So, 3,125 over 5 is 625. And we're going to find the fourth root of um, R raised to 4 and 625. So, fourth root of R is R, R raised to 4 is equal to R and 625. Fourth root of 625, it is positive or negative 5. So, Next, we obtain two values of R. So, we have two geometric sequences. The two values of R are um, plus or minus 5, wherein we have R is equal to 5 and R equals negative 5. Okay, so we have the geometric 1 and geometric sequence number 2. So, let's find out. Okay, if R is equal to 5, Okay, using the formula, we're going to find the second term, which is a sub 2 equals 5 times 5 raised to 2 minus 1. And a sub 2 is equal to 5 times 5 raised to 1 because 2 minus 1 is 1. Then 5 times 5 equals 1, 25. So again, our second term is 25. Next, to find the third term. We have 5 times 5 raised to 3 minus 1. So, 3 minus 1 equals 
2. Therefore, we have a sub 3 equals 5 times 5 square. So, 5 square equals 25. Then, 5 times 25 equals 125. So, that is our third term. Okay, so a sub 1 is 5 and a sub 5 is 3125. And we insert three terms. We have a sub 2, a sub 3, and a sub 4. And a sub 2 is 25, a sub 3 is 125. And then solve for a sub 4. So we have now the fourth term. It is equal to a sub 4 equals 5 times 5 raised to 4 minus 1. And then we have now a sub 4 equals... 5 times 5 raised to 3. Okay, 5 raised to 3 means we multiply 5 3 times. 5 times 5 times 5 is 125. Times of 5 equals uh, a sub 4 now is equal to 625. Again, our fourth term is 625. So, if r is equal to 5, the geometric means are 25, 125, 625 and our geometric sequence number one is 5 25 125 625 and 3125 okay now so if r is equal to negative 5 okay again using the given formula we're going to find the second term so, it is equal to 5 times negative 5 raised to 2 minus 1. Then, now we have 2 minus 1 is 1. Therefore, we have a sub 2 equals 5 times negative 5 raised to 1. So, negative 5 raised to 1 is negative 5 times 5 equals negative 25. So, our second term is negative 25. Okay, now for the third term. We have a sub 3 equals 5 times negative 5 raised to 3 minus 1. 3 minus 1 is 2. So, therefore, we have 5 times negative 5 is square. Negative 5 is square or negative 5 times negative 5 is positive 25. Then, now we have 5 times 25 is 125. So, that is our third term. So, again, a sub 1 is 5 and a sub 5 is 3125. Okay, so the three terms are our a sub 2 is negative 25, a sub 3 is 125, and for the a sub 4 or for the fourth term, we're going to have uh, a sub 4 equals 5 times negative 5 raised to 4 minus 1. Then we have 4 minus 1 is 3. So, that's why we have 5 times negative 5 raised to 3. So, negative 5 times 3, we multiply it 3 times. So, negative 5 times negative 5 times negative 5 is negative 125. Times 5 equals negative 625. So, that is our fourth term, negative 625. If R equals negative 5, the geometric means R, negative 25, 125 and negative 625 and our geometric sequence number 2 is 5 negative 25 125 negative 625 and 3100 okay again so let's have uh, if r is equal to 5 and if r is equal to negative 5 so, if R is equal to 5, the geometric means R, 25, 125, and 625. Well, the geometric sequence is 5, insert 3 terms, 25, 125, 625, and 3125. And for R is equal to negative 5, the geometric means R, negative 25, 125, 600, negative 625. Then... The geometric sequence is 5, negative 25, 125, negative 625, and 3,125. Okay, I think you are ready for the, for the activity, which is the geometric means activity. Okay, number 1, find the geometric or find the 3 geometric means between 2 and 512. Number 2, insert 2 geometric means between 81 and 3. Okay, so that's all for now. So
Thank you for watching and this is my YouTube channel, Matt Ish. Okay, so please don't forget to like and share.